Welcome to this technical corner. Today we're going to be discussing the Takumi V and VC series range from Leader CNC Technologies. Now they've got an extensive range of VMCs, Paul. Now what makes them so good? Well, I think it's important to say that this technical corner has come about from actually seeing recently a company that had one of these machines, a Takumi um, V machine installed, and and looking at the work that was coming off it. Um, the surface finish of the, of, of the parts uh, and also the precision of the components for the age of the machine that we we saw um, was really, really impressive. And I know we spoke about it and we thought, well, actually, this is something we should cover in the studio because it's a, it, it's a range of machines which I believe is is undersold. But of course, now Leader CNC have the agency, then there's... Um, it's probably going to do much better. I'm so you sure. mentioned accuracy, Paul, and the longevity of the machine tool. How is this achieved? It's down to the build of the machine, and I think it's important to say that the V-Series is a box guide, a box guideway construction machine. I'll, I'll point out a few areas where I think that this machine um, and how this machine delivers outstanding results. The first of which would be the uh, on the Y-axis, you've got four box guideways which are supporting the, the travel of the machine. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means, you've, you've of course, if you've got four guideways as opposed to two, it, it's a much more secure axis movement. Um, vibration will be, will be dampened out in the machining process. Um, the machines are very heavy. I mean, just to give you an example, even on a meter machine, you're, you're still talking a, around about seven tons of weight. So they're, they're big C-frame construction machines. Um, if you're after, which, which generally uh, high precision manufacturers are, if you're after speed uh, and precision, you need a very stiff machine. And that's what these are. And one of my final points quickly would be the fact that these are built to uh, a VDI standard, which is a, a, a German criteria. And there's, there's kind of two, two methods that machine tool manufacturers use. It's either the JRS standard or the VDI standard. And the VDI tends to be a little bit harder to achieve. And, and, and Takumi have done that. So starting from the foundation of these VMCs then, I'm, I'm assuming it's a one-piece casting? It's a one-piece casting machine, uh, very heavy duty from 850 millimetres in the x-axis up to three metres. Uh, and I mean, just to give you a bit of background on Takumi, I mean, you know, in 1988, they set up their first subsidiary in, in Germany, and that now employs over 100 people. Um, it's a popular brand around the world. Every exhibition we go to, we see Takumi uh, machines, whether it be their, their larger sort of bridge milling machines, bed milling machines, or even their, their, their five axis solutions. They're, they're a big manufacturer. Some of the machines are made in, in Taiwan, Italy, and China uh, as where their production facilities are. Now, staying on the theme of the foundation of, of the machine, now of the build of the machine, now, can you explain to our audience in regards to hand scraping and keeping the squareness uh, perfectly square, if you like, and not using software to uh, alleviate any Massive kind of... point. Glad you, glad you brought it up. Yeah, I mean, the hand scraping, I've done it myself. I don't know whether you did it in an apprenticeship. Um, when I went to, when I worked for uh, Bridgeport, uh, back in 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 uh, in my early sales career, that actually took you around the, sh the the shop floor, and you had to get involved in the certain production processes. And one of them was hand scraping, and it's a it's a real dog of a job. And but what it delivers is it means that your surface contact um, and the, the the longevity of a machine is far greater uh, doing it in this way. But also the accuracy, and you, and you're totally right. Software in a lot of machines tends to um, eradicate or rule out inaccuracies. Um, but, but this is so well geometrically aligned, everything is done via the hardware. And that again, once again, demonstrates what goes into the build of a Takumi machine. So really that emphasizes the foundation of the machine and everything comes from the foundation. So let's move on to the spindle of the V series. So you can have the, the, the options here. One of the great things about um, the V series and the VC series is I mentioned the size of the machines, but also the, the spindle capabilities that you, you may require, depending on the materials that you're cutting. Now, they do say, and I mentioned that mold and dye was an industry where I saw this particular application. However, if you look on their website, you know, they're servicing the aerospace industry, the automotive sector, the optical sector, a medical, scientific. Now, of course, these are demanding industries, but all applications demand different machining strategies with different styles of machines. And Takumi can do can do this, whether it be a BBT40 spindle, a BBT50, whether it be a gearbox, a two-speed gearbox to give you more power at the bottom end, um, a direct drive spindles. All of these are options which are available on the Takumi um, 
range. And again, the spindle is giving you more rigidity. It's got full contact areas around spindle it. Spindle face and taper. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Now, Paul, you've mentioned box guideways. Um, what kind of applications does that lend itself to? And is it all about the metal removal rates? Box guideway, um, heavy duty, dampening out vibration, giving you a lot of security with, with taking, uh, you know, challenging machining operations on harder materials. Absolutely perfect. But I know we're going to come on to talking about the VC range, which is the linear guide version, which then maybe lends itself to some of those other sectors, the aerospace industry, you know, um, you know, maybe more general industry with a higher speed spindle. Uh, and of course the linear drive movement, which can be a lot faster. So moving on to the VC, what benefits do you get from the VC over the, the, the V range, or is it application specific? It is application specific, but it is about speed. The VC is a linear guide machine. It means you can actually um, machine metal removal rates up to 20 meters a minute, which is quite something. And interestingly, the, um, the Z axis on this machine on the VC range isn't counterbalanced. So you know, a lot of machine tools use a counterbalance weight. This doesn't. This is all done in the hardware, which means that if you're doing pecking cycles, you can do them far faster because you haven't got that count. It is physics. You haven't got that counterbalance that you need to worry about. So they put their time and attention on the VC series to be uh, d giving you a machine that is the ultimate in performance when it comes to not just the spindles capabilities, but the, the movements and the feed rates for the metal removal. So you've got two options, heavy duty, or you've got VC, which... Um, Equally, when I say about it, it's still a seven ton machine on a meter, uh, a meter X axis, but you have got those linear ways to give you more performance. So, so talking uh, and staying on the theme of performance, what about the accuracy and surface finish? Is that a given on both models? Absolutely. Um, but I think where, where it differs is the, when you say application, the type of application that you're trying to get off the machine, small, prismatic aluminium components or a huge mould tool um, with plenty of surfacing on it. Wherever you're looking for those precisions from you know, a three metre table from one corner to the other far corner, these machines, hand-built machines as, as you've identified, are machines that will give you um, the ultimate in precision. But not just in day, on day one, but throughout the life of the machine, which is what I saw uh, customers. And will, will we be seeing a lot more of these in the UK? I'd like to think so. I think these are real challenges. I think there's a lot of good machines out there. There's not a bad machine these days, but there's a lot of really good machines as well. And this is certainly, um, you know, certainly a contender for, for companies that want machines that are going to last. Paul, thank you very much. So there you have it. Performance, accuracy and quality from Takumi from Leader CNC Technologies.